Located between the Pacific and Indian Oceans, Australia is the world's largest island and its smallest continent. There's room to move in the land down under, and with so many sights to discover and enjoy, there's a great incentive to go on a walkabout adventure. Whether exploring the traditional lifestyle of the nation's Aboriginal people, relaxing on a sun-kissed beach or reveling the night away in a city hotspot, Australia has something special to offer every visitor. With amazing national parks dotted around the country and some fantastic islands, visitors to Australia can be off exploring the delights of Tasmania one minute and Kakadu and Uluru Kata Tutor National Parks the next. On top of this, the beautiful beaches and turquoise waters that line its shores are home to the jaw-dropping Great Barrier Reef, one of the miracles of the natural world and one of Australia's most popular tourist destinations. With loads of great things to see and do, you'll have your job cut out trying to fit everything into your trip. Number 10. Perth The capital of Western Australia, Perth is very isolated from the rest of the country, yet is routinely considered one of the most livable cities in the world thanks to its laid-back vibe, fantastic cultural sites, and a wide range of things to do. Many of Perth's attractions are located near the water, whether it's the beaches stretching along the sunset coast to the north or the parks, walks and picnic spots edging the Swan River. Fremantle, known as Frio, by the locals, is the city's port, a bustling marina that has recently gained a reputation as a haven for artists and students. Cottesloe Beach, just a few miles north of Fremantle, is Perth's most popular beach. One of the largest city parks in the world, the Thousand Acre Kings Park encompasses Mount Eliza, a hill overlooking the city, and boasts a botanical garden with aerial walkways as well as the State War Memorial Park. The Perth Zoo offers visitors up close encounters with kangaroos and other animals native to Australia. Ferry service in Perth takes visitors to Carfree Rotnest Island or the closer Penguin Island to watch daily feedings of the flightless birds. Whether swimming with dolphins, firing up a barbie on the river's shoreline or exploring the aquarium of Western Australia, the country's largest aquarium, aquatic adventures abound in sun and sea-loving Perth. Number 9. Kangaroo Island The third largest island in the country, Kangaroo Island lies just off the coast of South Australia, around a 45-minute ferry ride from Cape Jarvis. One of the most popular tourist destinations in the state, its delightfully untouched landscapes are home to incredible scenery and an abundance of wildlife. Everything from huge dunes and towering cliffs to large caves and remarkable rock formations can be found in its numerous nature reserves. These are home to echidnas, koalas, and kangaroos, while penguins, sea lions and dolphins can be spotted offshore. Its diverse landscapes lend themselves perfectly to all kinds of outdoor activities, with hiking, sandboarding and scuba diving popular. Besides its ample natural riches, wildlife, and recreation opportunities, Kangaroo Island also boasts lots of delicious local produce and fine wines for visitors to try. These can be sampled at any one of its four main towns or at the small farms and wineries that dot the island. Number 8. Brisbane A popular tourist destination, Brisbane is a lively, dynamic place that is bathed in beautiful sunshine year-round. It has a population of about 2 million people, making it the third largest city in Australia, after Sydney and Melbourne. Located in the Sunshine State, many visitors stop by on their way to the fantastic resorts and beaches that lie to its north and south. Set alongside the Brisbane River, the city's fantastic climate means that outdoor activities are very popular here. You can take your pick from a huge catalogue, with edge biking, climbing, and hiking featuring prominently. A fun and friendly city, Brisbane's vibrant music scene has made it one of the music capitals of the world and there are lots of venues in town where you can enjoy a great show. With loads of brilliant restaurants and bars for you to choose from, Brisbane is not to be missed.
Number 7. Tasmania. The island state of Tasmania may be isolated from the rest of the country but it still remains one of the best places to visit in Australia. Almost half of its area is protected as the government looks to preserve the natural riches. With desolate wilderness and alpine plateaus interspersed with stunning white beaches, waterfalls, and forests, exploring its terrain is simply mesmerizing. Taking a boat trip along its craggy coast is equally rewarding and you can even see dolphins, penguins, and seals along the way. With lots of great local produce, eating and drinking in the capital city of Hobart is an absolute pleasure and the restaurants and bars are divine. The island also hosts an eclectic range of great festivals throughout the year, where you can enjoy local beer and wine or arts and music events. Number 6. Watsunday Islands One of Australia's most popular tourist destinations, the Watsunday Islands lie scattered off Queensland's northeastern coast, surrounded by warm and inviting aquamarine waters. As it is part of the Great Barrier Reef, most of the archipelago lies within national parks, so stunning scenery and picture-perfect beaches abound. Due to the abundance of underwater riches and colorful coral reefs, the Whitsundays are a great place to go snorkeling and scuba diving. Sailing around its 74 islands and islets is also very popular, as is lounging on its sun-kissed sands. In Whitehaven Beach, the archipelago boasts one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. While the Watsunday Islands are primarily known for their outstanding natural beauty, they are also remarkably home to some of the oldest aboriginal archaeological sites in the country. As the idyllic islands are now mainly uninhabited and undeveloped with only a few resorts and campsites to be found here and there, it is best to arrange tours and activities in Ely Beach on the mainland. Number 5. Melbourne The capital of the state of Victoria, Melbourne is Australia's second most populated city. Located near the southeastern tip of Australia on the large natural bay of Port Phillip, Melbourne is considered the nation's cultural capital as well as an important port. Due to its high quality of life, citizens from around the world have flocked to the streets. Its multicultural population is reflected in the delicious cuisine and the unique neighborhoods that make it such a fascinating place to explore. Melbourne's city centre district boasts the most attractions, including the city's most recognisable landmark, the Flinders Street Railway Station. The multiple clocks hanging over the Edwardian era station's entrance is a popular meeting spot. The skyscraper Eureka Tower features an 88-floor observation platform, the highest in the Southern Hemisphere. Visitors can step out onto a glass-enclosed compartment for panoramic views of the bay and the green Dandenong mountain range beyond. Visitors looking for outdoor activities can enjoy the city's parklands, many of which are shaded by large, mature trees. For swimming and sunbathing, Melbourne's bayside beaches are ideal. For a retro feel, Brighton Beach features colorful bathing huts. St Kilda Beach is one of the most popular beaches, both for its swimming and for the clubs and restaurants that line the shore. From dawn to dusk, visitors to Melbourne will never run out of exciting things to see and do. Number 4. Kakadu National Park Occupied by Aboriginal people for over 40,000 years, Kakadu National Park has over 5,000 ancient rock art sites which are fascinating to visit. It is a place of immense cultural and natural signif. Ikens. The park is huge and contains some stunning natural sites which make it well worth a visit. The Kakadu escarpment is particularly breathtaking. With diverse ecosystems contained within the park's boundaries, you can be hiking through deserted sandstone escarpments one minute and bathing in waterfalls and pools the next, before later on learning about some of the ancient rock paintings. While it can get very popular, Kakadu's huge area means that you can easily enjoy all the park has to offer in peace and quiet if you step off the beaten path a little.
Number 3. Great Barrier Reef The largest coral reef system on the face of the earth, the Great Barrier Reef is simply colossal. Located in the Coral Sea off the coast of Australia's state of Queensland, the Great Barrier Reef encompasses a huge area of more than 2,900 coral reefs and hundreds of islands and kites. Formed by millions of living organisms over a period of millions of years, the reef is now one of the world's most diverse and complex ecosystems. While always known and used by the Torres Strait Islander and Aboriginal Australian peoples, the reef today is protected by the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. It is home to a remarkable array of marine life including 1500 fish species and 360 corals in addition to various species of whales, dolphins, marine turtles, sea snakes and birds, which breed among the small islands. Ranging from single-day trips to multiple-day voyages, these boat cruises usually anchor at certain stops to allow for snorkeling and diving. Other options for experiencing the reef include underwater observatories, glass-bottomed boat tours and helicopter flights. Number 2. Uluru Kata Tutor National Park World famous, spectacular Uluru is instantly recognizable due to its ruddy red hue, it is one of Australia's most prominent landmarks. The immense rock is incredible to visit and the main reason the national park is such a popular destination. Its grandeur and uniqueness live long in the memory of those who gaze upon it. While Uluru is the main draw, the equally mesmerizing rock formations of Kata Tijuta are fantastic to wander around, and there are lots of activities for visitors to enjoy. Owned by the Anangu Aboriginal people, the site is of great cultural and spiritual significance to them, you can learn more about their way of life at the brilliant cultural center. With lots of great walks, bike rides and tours, the astounding beauty of this national park really is awe-inspiring. Number 1. Sydney Almost picture perfect, Sydney is a fantastic city with a lot going for it. A modern city with a long history, Sydney is defined by its scenic harbour. The region's first inhabitants lived along the harbour's bank for thousands of years. The harbour was also the landing site for convicts sent to Australia during the 1780s. Today, ferries take visitors for cruisers under the famed Sydney Harbour Bridge and past the iconic Sydney Opera House. Adventurous travellers can take a ferry to Manly Wharf where they can rent kayaks to paddle the inlets of Sydney Harbour National Park or sign up for surf classes at Manly Beach. The Federation Cliff Walk is a 5km, 3-mile, long walkway that starts at the Raleigh Reserve Park, providing spectacular views of the sea, harbour and the Macquarie Lighthouse, Australia's first and longest operating lighthouse. For adventurous visitors to Sydney, a heart-thumping climb on the Harbour Bridge is a must-do activity. For others, shopping at the historic Queen Victoria Building, hitting the clubs and restaurants the Inn Rocks District and visiting the world-class Taronga Zoo are can't-miss activities. Do subscribe Scoop Buddy for more such videos.